What's going on, you guys? It's Nico Moreno here. And in today's video, I'm gonna be reviewing a chat bot from one of my amazing students, Chris. Okay, so Chris, you're freaking awesome. Uh, I'm gonna be reviewing your chat bot here, just providing a little bit of advice and also walking through it. And yeah, so let's get to it. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure to hit subscribe for more notifications from me. And yeah, to get notified every time I upload a new video and go live. So let's just get into it. So Chris messaged me, well, we've been chatting a little bit back and forth, and what Chris does is he resells electronics, okay? And he also does marketing for people who resell electronics. So, naturally, I was very curious to hear this, and I don't, you guys, I don't do this for every student. I just literally could not. It's like, it's not possible. Um, but Chris was a super nice guy. We've just been chatting for a bit, and so he asked if I could review his flow, and so I was happy to do that. So let's go ahead, let's just take a look. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through, I'm going to show you guys right here on the flow or like the flow preview. And then I'm going to actually preview it inside of Facebook and I'll let you guys know what I think. So without further ado, Chris told me that his goal was to gain as much knowledge as possible from the customer who's going through this. So basically just to collect as much information as he possibly could. Um, and that's the goal of his chatbot. Okay. So we're going to go through it here and I'm going to show you guys, Ooh, hold on. Not that. I'm gonna show you guys um, a quick walkthrough of it and then we're gonna do like an actual live on-screen demo. Cool, so here we go. He said, it says starting step. Thanks for choosing Bell Electronics. Let's work on getting you some cash. Cool, so hello, below we have a system that will help us determine pricing. So please use, uh, your, please use the buttons to answer the questions for it to work efficiently. This helps you give us the best off quickly. What are you looking to sell? Okay, so right off the bat, Chris, my feedback is, I find this sentence, or I find these two sentences a little bit confusing. Um, use the buttons to answer the questions for it to work efficiently. This helps us give you the best off quickly. I'm not quite sure what that means. I would just remove those two sentences. Oops. Yeah, I would just cut them out. Um, just make it short and sweet. You can just say, hello, below we have a system that will help us determine pricing. Even that's a little bit confusing, I would just say, hello, thanks for choosing Bell Electronics. Like, what are you looking to sell? Boom, simple. Um, I would do that because I'm on. I'm a little bit confused with these first two sentences. And please keep in mind, everybody who's watching and Chris as well, um, I'm just providing like candid feedback to help you, to help you make this better. Um, it's not intended to you know, hurt anyone's feelings or anything like that. I'm uh, just giving you my honest feedback on how it can improve. Okay, cool. So let's say the person said iPhone. Then which iPhone do you have? Please choose from the choices below. Cool. I love this. Okay, that's great. Uh, iPhone. Oh, you've got a ton of options here. Okay, that's super cool because people can kind of like swipe. And I also love how you got the little emoji there for iPhone. So that looks great. Perfect. I love that. Um, and then you say any problems with it. Please let us know what issues your phone has. Please use the choices below. None, cracked, finance, finance and cracked, iCloud lock, multiple issues. Okay, cool. And so let's see what happens here. If they say none or multiple issues, it goes over here. Great, we'll have another offer. We'll have an offer for you shortly. Wait for one of our reps to get in touch with you. Thanks. And then it says, while you're waiting on a rep to get with you, I want to let you know we also buy other electronics. Um, tell us what else you have. Cool, that's great. I love that. Um, so that's perfect. You're collecting all this info about their iPhone and what is or is not working with it. Perfect. And then it looks like if they say cracked, um, financed. Okay, cool. So then for some other options, we get a little bit deeper. So for finance, it says what company is your phone financed with? AT&T, Sprint, Mobile, Verizon, other. Great. I love this. And then let's see. Um, iCloud lock, or let's see if they say other things. Is the screen fully functional? Does the screen still fully functional? Okay, so this is a little grammatical error. So I would say like, is the screen, or no, it, it's not a grammatical error, Blew it. Never mind. <laughs> Does the screen still fully function? Cool. And can you fully interact with all the apps and systems, even though it's cracked? Yes or no? Cool. You know, what I love about this overall so far, Chris, is like, you obviously, like you know all the implications of what it means like let's say if the iCloud is locked or if it's financed and cracked, like you know what it actually, what that actually means to the person who's gonna be buying it. Whereas people who are selling the phone, 
they may not have any idea, right? Like the fact that you clarified, can you fully interact with all the apps and systems on the screen, even though it's cracked, that's something that a person who's going to sell an iPhone, they might not even think of that at all. So that's great that you're asking all these clarifying questions, getting all the questions that you need, uh, that you need answered so that you can properly resell this item. Um, cool. And then this is great. So you're di disqualifying people who you just can't work with and you just can't help, right? So you say iCloud locked, and then it says, we do not purchase iCloud locked or activated phones. It's due to information, and we're not allowed to resell them. Great. So one suggestion is, if you have, Chris, if you have like a, either a video or like a, I don't know, like a, a guide or a blog post or something, if there's a way for them to unlock the phone and then they can resell it, um, I would add that in. Um, I don't know about, you know, I, iCloud locked technology, so I don't know if that's even an option. But if it is, that could be a great way to get some more sales, right? Um, you could just create a video showing them how to do that or an article showing them how to do that and then they could come back and be your customer as soon as they unlock it. Um, same thing with the Google locked items. Um, you could potentially show them how to do that if that's something that um, you guys know how to do. Cool, and then what company is your financed with? Or what's it financed with? at and cool. So all these different providers, and then that's great. Yeah, so you're collecting, you're gonna know like basically everything that you need to know uh, as a, an electronics reseller. Um, by the end of this flow, which is great. And then you're also saying, cool, while you're waiting on a rep to get with you, I want to let you know that we also buy other electronics. We buy MacBooks, iPads, cameras, drones, and whatnot. Um, so two suggestions for you, Chris, to make this even better, um, to make both of these, like basically that final statement even better. And I know we've still got more down here, so don't worry, we're going to go um, through the rest of this. But what you can do to make this even better is you could actually add buttons. You could add like a button down here saying like, I also have a, um, like I also have a computer, also have an iPod, also have whatever, also have a camera, right? Something so that they can actually tell you instead of it just ending. If they do have something else, then they can like start clicking and telling you that too. So that's one, thing one. Thing number two is you may not know this, but you can also add like a, it's called like a, a tell button. So basically, um, you can just input like the phone number of your company or someone on your team, and you can tell them to click the button down below. And if they push the button, um, I'll, I'll show you how to do this later. Or there should be a video in the course on how to do this. Um, but you can actually like embed a button here that will, when they press it on mobile, it'll actually call your phone number, right? So you can say, hey, while you're waiting, um, or you know, now that you've like told us everything, you can actually call in and we'll help you right away. Right? Or you can say, hey, speak to a live agent right now. Just press the button down below um, to call us. And again, you embed your actual phone number or the phone number of your storefront, your company, or anything like that. And they literally just push it. Um, and they can actually just dial in right away through the bot, which is totally super, super cool. Okay? So those are the two things. I would add those to the end, both of these. And any other places in your bot where you have like the, this sort of like final message here saying like we're waiting. Um, or where, where, during, their, during the time that they're waiting to hear back from your rep, okay? So those are two things that, the, that I would recommend. Let's see what else we got going down here. This is an awesome bot, Chris. Good job. Um, please provide. Okay, so this is sort of this, it looks like this is probably similar. It's just, yeah, so Samsung MacBook laptop, okay. Cool, so with Samsung, you're just getting all the different types. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Any problems with your Galaxy? So it sounds like you're kind of doing the similar things, um, getting similar information and asking similar questions, but just for a different type of phone. So that's perfect, love that. Um, again, with these sorts of things, um, if you can create like a video or a resource guide or something on how they can do that, again, I don't know if that's even a possibility, but if it is, then you could do that, and that might get you some extra sales, like when people do that and then they come back to you. Um, and then here we go, any issues with your device? None, damage, no power. Um, cool, so you could actually, you could also include like a free response bubble here where they can actually type in and then the bot will reply. Um, there's videos on how to do that as well in the course, or just let me know 
um, if you want if you want to try and do that. But I would recommend that. Or again, you can also embed like a telephone. If this is something that you know is potentially a little bit complicated, uh, again, I'm not I don't work in this type of business, so I can't say for sure. But if it's something that's a little bit more complicated, describing the issues and it's just better to talk to someone on the phone, then you might want to embed one of those tell links in here, um, which is just a button that's going to have them call. Bell Electronics or call someone at your company, right? So those are the two things that I would recommend um, right here. And yeah, overall, this is like, this is a freaking the bomb, Chris. Like you've got it. Just a couple like small little things. Again, that very first question, I would say you could just shorten that up and clean that up and then that'll, uh, that'll do really, really nicely. But overall, dude, this looks great. Like it looks so, so good. Uh, I'm super proud of you and it's really awesome. Um, again, if you can add uh, those two things that I said, like a button for them to sell additional things and maybe it'll start another flow or a button to call in, all right? To talk to someone at uh, Bell Electronics. So that's it, those are, those are my only suggestions. Um, this looks great, Chris, really. Um, yeah, let me know if you got any other questions down below. And for any of you guys who are watching who wanna get started building bots like this, um, Chris is like already an expert, but for those of you who want to get started building bots and making a ton of money doing it and having lots of fun, go ahead and check down below in the description and there'll be a link to a free training webinar with me. And also you can check out the chatbot course where you can learn to start building and selling chatbots today. All right. Thanks so much guys. It's been Nico Moreno and I'll see you guys next time.